Welcome to this week's Dunlop Motorcycle Tires Track Conditions Report here from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm with Brian Fleck. Uh, Brian, first of all, I want to uh, say great job last weekend with all that mud you guys had. Yeah, it was pretty tough conditions in Seattle. Uh, I, I give a lot to the riders because they struggled to get through it, and uh, uh, tire choice was critical there with the mud and the conditions we dealt with. This weekend here in Minneapolis, a lot better conditions. Obviously, this is the last dome of the season. I saw some ruts starting to develop earlier in press day. Yeah, the guys that rode earlier, a couple of the bull turns are soft, so they're developing pretty deep ruts. Uh, there's going to be one sand section, and then, uh, of course, we got these two sets of whoops. So this is going to be the key point right here, I think. Well, and I, I think they made up for it last weekend's main event. They had to take them out because the track was so bad. But two sets of deep whoops, and it looks like they might get ruddy. They might, I don't know if they can blitz through them or they're going to have to jump through them. Yeah, I imagine by the end of the night they'll be jumping through them. But it's going to be key to keep your momentum through them, especially going into the second set so you have some momentum to, to stay in them and drive through them. But uh, I would think these whoops are going to decide the race for sure. Let me ask you this, with the weather outside, it's possibly snowing, it's going to be cold outside. It's great indoors, though, but what does that present for you as far as, like, getting the tires ready? Do you have to put on tire warmers or anything like that or no? Yeah, the biggest difference is the air pressure changes going from outside to inside because when the tires come inside and warm up, the pressure goes up a little bit. So we make sure the riders, we try to get the teams to put tire warmers on the tires if possible so they're closer to the temperature that it's going to be when they're inside the dome. Uh, and if they don't do that, then when they come in, we ask them to check the pressure at the last minute because it's going to go up a pound or two when they come into the stadium and it heats up. So before they get on the line, they're probably down there checking the air pressure. Yeah, right before the parade lot, most of the mechanics will be checking the pressure to make sure it's, it's at what we recommend. You know, a lot of the guys, when they come to you after press day, do they change a lot of the tires? You know, like I know you have the MX-52, uh, some guys like the 3S. Most generally, it's the 3S, though. Yeah, it's normally 3S, but they decide if they want to run the 110 or the wider 120, and it just depends how tacky the dirt is and how it ruts up. If it's a really, really rutted track, a lot of the 450 guys will run a 110 instead of a 120. So we kind of learn that on press day, and we can make it the decision for Saturday night then. One more question for you, Brian, before I let you go. i got to ask you. The step on, step offs, very critical for a tire. I mean, when you step onto it, you got to have traction to get off of it. Yeah, that's right. But you also need a tire that absorbs good because usually it gets a little cupped out on the top of the, of the step off and the tires want to kick a little bit. So you need a tire that damps well on those and that'll help you drive off onto the next one. Something else I've noticed this year, I, I haven't seen any flats, man. You guys are doing a great job. Yeah, and part of that is Dirtworks does a good job making sure the tracks are prepped well and that. But uh, we run good heavy-duty tubes, and the tire carcasses are good, so we don't have too much issue with flats. That's something I want to touch on. I, I haven't touched on it with Brock, but the, the tubes. I mean, you, you have a variation of tubes. I mean, heavy, medium-heavy, light, but it's pretty much heavy that everybody runs here? Uh, we run super heavy quite a bit. Um, most of the factory bikes are pretty close to the weight limit, so they're not concerned about a few extra ounces, but uh, they want to make sure they don't get a flat, especially the guys that are in contention for the championship. So we run a little thicker tube with those guys. Um, the 250s, we usually run a little lighter weight tube if, if we can get away with it just to help them with horsepower. All right, well, you heard it from Brian. Well, that's it for the Dunlop Motorcycle Tires Track Conditions Report here in Minneapolis, Minnesota.